Hi, I'm David Legrand, and I'm out here today beside one of my favorite tools, my uh, PDJ CNC router. About a year ago, I didn't know a thing about CNC, and I contacted Phil Judd at uh, PDJINC.com, and he has been absolutely marvelous. And because of him, I am now enjoying all kinds of neat things on this router. Uh, you might have seen my other video entitled uh, Foam Cutting with the PDJ CNC router. And now today I'm going to show you my very first um, engraving job, some plotting, and show you how I cut parts for an ultralight airplane. I mean, there's just so many things you can do on one of these routers. Do you remember the good old days when you could drive up to a service station and they'd even wash your windows? You know, I think it was called customer service. Well, Phil gives customer service a new definition, believe me. Uh, he has been absolutely marvelous. And so you're looking for someone who will really give you the kind of support you need to learn CNC. Then you nef definitely need to go to uh, PDJ inc.com This is to go by the front door of my good friend James Brown. James has helped me immensely in setting up all of the computer equipment to be able to operate the router here as well as my plasma cutter and, and anything else I need a computer for. He's been an invaluable help in many ways. And so uh, I think it's a privilege to be able to do my very first engraving job for James. I'm going to show you how I cut airplane parts out of uh, sheet metal, sheet aluminum. I just have a little scrap piece on here right now. We're going to cut a uh, bracket that would hold the nose cluster together on a laser ultralight. So I'm going to uh, cut that now.
I was able to cut many other parts on here and not only cut them but also drill all of the holes very accurately and as in some cases where we made multiple parts like this you, we were able to cut all of them exactly the same, drill all the holes exactly the same. This is a nose rib that goes in a, in a laser ultralight. And so uh, these are just a few of the many, many parts that we were able to cut out on the router here. If I want to see what that part looked like on paper before I cut it, and I didn't want to do it in the computer, I wanted to plot it, or plot something else. I just take my uh, plotter attachment, take the cap off of it, and slip it right on here. After I get it in position, get ready to go, I just come over to the computer and say, okay, draw me a picture. <laughs> And you say, well, Dave, why don't I just uh, kick that out of the computer? Well, that's fine, but what if you want to see if the router is going to run it accurately the way you want it? And what comes out of the computer and what comes out of this router might not be exactly the same. So it's a good way to test before you waste a lot of expensive materials. Well, as you can see, even a barrel of monkeys couldn't have this much fun. So, if you want to join in on the fun, you know where to go, pdjinc.com.